Which you guys got another video on how to set up Windows 11 settings in seconds. We all know that the privacy and security settings and other settings in Windows uh, 11 and even Windows 10 take quite a while to set up. But once you do this method, what I'm going to show you now, it will literally take seconds to have all of this done. You won't have to keep going through this whole process of having to reset up Windows all the time. And I'll show you how to do it in this video. You can see here in group policy, we have a load of settings that have been changed on here. This is all that scripts do and these programs that you download and use on your computer. But what if I told you you didn't need to actually do that and you can actually make a backup of all your own settings and then just put them onto your new build when you reinstall Windows. It takes seconds to do and you will be up and running in no time. No running programs and no downloading scripts. But before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Once you head over there and create yourself an account, you can click on some of them links to whatever you want to purchase and use my promo code capital B capital R 9 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD key sales. Now, once you submit your order, they will then send you your key to your accounts and then you can use that key to upgrade from Windows 11 home to pro or you can activate windows just like you see right here on the screen super easy to do so check out the links in the video description okay so let's get back to the video so what we're going to do here is we're going to open up uh, the explorer and go to this pc and then go to the c drive once we're inside here we need to go to the windows directory and then what we're going to do is come down to system 32 click on system 32 and then once we've done this we can come on down to where it says group policy right here, group policy. Now you will need to have Windows 10 Pro and above or Windows 11 Pro and above. If you have an own version, it's not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is click on the three dots here, go view. If you've got don't show hidden files, folders and drives and you don't show extensions, then I'm gonna just quickly reverse this and show you what you need to do first. We're gonna definitely do that just in case there's any hidden files in here we want to show all files folders and drives once we've done that we can go down to where it says group policy right here so you can see group policy we're going to double click on this and this will take us inside this directory these files here are the ones that you need to back up this is for the machine and for the user it's important that you back up the files inside here because these are going to be all of your settings inside your group policy this means that once you've backed these up, you can put these onto any computer and it will save you from having to basically go through that process of reconfiguring the PC every single time. So I'm going to just save them inside uh, here. I'm going to create a folder inside my documents, call this group policy, and you can back them up to wherever you like. I'm just going to keep them inside documents here, but let's just create a folder called group policy. And inside here, I'm going to paste in these files like so it's that simple now anytime you reinstall windows you would just need to copy these files into the group policy uh, folder and restart the pc and you would end up with all of your settings set on that pc now you can also use a batch file right here and i'll show you this let me open this up inside uh, the notepad here so you can see exactly what it looks like all it's going to do is copy that file to the desktop basically it's going to make a backup of our group policy folder and this is going to be useful if you don't want to navigate through the computer right click on it run this as administrator say yes to the user account control and there we have our local group policy editor folder created and there is all of our content right here now remember any changes that you make inside the group policy you will need to make a backup every single time otherwise uh, you're going to end up missing out on some of those policies. So here we have a fresh install of Windows 11, and this is a complete fresh install. No settings have been set on this system, but I'll show you basically how we can use those files we backed up. We can import them into this location, and basically we will be able to change all of these settings. So determine on what sort of settings you have set in your group policy editor, 
will determine what settings will be on your PC. Now, I turn off a lot of stuff on my policies. Uh, if you want me to upload them somewhere, I can do, and you can use them if you want to. Uh, you can use them on any PC. Anyway, what I'm going to do is copy these files from the folder that I've just copied over, and I'm going to go to this PC, the C drive, then go to Windows, and then what we're going to do here is come down to System32 here, go inside System32. I do need to show hidden files, folders, and drives just in case there's any hidden files inside here. Just want to make sure. Click Options on the three dots and then go View. And then we can show hidden files, folders, and drives and remove the hide extensions. And once we've done that, we can go down to where it says Group Policy, go inside here, paste those files right in here, just like so. Click Paste, push Continue. And yeah, all we need to do here is put the check mark in, do this for all of the current items. And this will go ahead and copy all of our files over to our group policy on that system. Click restart the PC. And once we get back to the desktop, all of our settings will be imported into this computer. This is why I tell people to try and use a pro version of Windows rather than a home version of Windows because it gives you much more control. There's no need to download Chris Titus Text Tool or any of these other tools like uh, Shut Up 10 or any of that stuff. Once you've got it set up, back up your settings and you won't need to download any scripts, run any scripts, any programs on your PC. You can see right here, they've all been set and everything has been done. And you don't have to download and install anything on your PC or run any sort of dodgy scripts where people might have made changes to something that you don't know and it could put your PC at risk. This is the easiest way to make changes to your system and it takes literally seconds as you can see right here. And if you like to tweak other settings like services, you can also do those as well. And you can easily create a batch file to take care of services very quickly and easy to do. Now this is gonna be dealing with all of the privacy, the telemetry and all of the other stuff on your PC and disable a lot of that stuff. So you don't have to worry about all of that running in the background. A lot of this stuff has been turned off as you can see here. And again, it literally takes seconds. So you don't have to worry about it being reset because if it does get reset, which it shouldn't do because it is a policy and it's set by yourself, it shouldn't be reset after a Windows update. I've proven that and shown you that. But if it does, then you just copy those files back into that location and it will basically make those changes for you. Now, like I told you before, if you do make additional changes later on down the line, you will need to make sure that you make a backup of the group policies because they have now changed. Otherwise, you'll miss out on those. Let me just show you right here. Let me go here and say I wanted to make a change here. If I did the change right here and made the change to this uh, group policy and I didn't back it up, this would be left behind and it wouldn't make a change for it. It would only be the ones that you've created in the past. So it's always important to do this. Also, you can create a PowerShell script as well and have that running as a simple task in your task uh, scheduler. You can basically have this backing up whenever you feel like it to a folder as well. It's quite useful to do. If you want to see a video on that, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.